Hi guys, you are welcome in Literature Simply, simple way to learn literature and language. Friends, in this video, I have brought a very special personality for you. Actually, this personality worked in the field of comedy and here we are talking about Charlie Chaplin, the star comedian, the great comedian who made the world laugh and created a genuine laughter among the audiences, among the masses. Friends, here our topic of discussion is his story or a chapter called The Kid. Actually, The Kid is a feature film and how the idea of this The Kid appeared in his mind, he discusses in this chapter or in this story called The Kid. So friends, before getting into the story or the chapter, let's first uh, know about the great personality of Charlie Chaplin. Actually, the full name of Charlie Chaplin is Sir Charles Spencer Chaplin, but he popularly known as Charlie Chaplin. And when we hear this word Charlie Chaplin, a picture appears in our mind of that particular Charlie Chaplin in the form of a tramp and his particular dressing manner, his moustache, his face, his activities, his behavior and all the features of his personality immediately gets into our mind. So this is the charm of his personality, the charm of Charlie Chaplin. Friends, Charlie Chaplin was a bright son of actors. His father was actor and his mother was a very attractive actress. But friends, unfortunately, he has to face many difficulties in his early age. When he was 10, his father dies and his mother became ill. He has to found his livelihood on his own, his brother called Zigne, and he has to make family survive and they worked a lot. And for the first time at the age of 12, he got opportunity to work on the stage, on the real stage. And from there, he never looked back. And his career as an actor started from there. And friends, he got a very longer career in this field of comedy and he made the world laugh. He made us laugh. Whenever we see his comedies, whenever he, we watch his pictures, movies, we laugh a lot. And he was given us that kind of think the laughter and genuine laughter. So friends, this is uh, some of the background of Charlie Chaplin. Now there are some famous movies which uh, I would like you to uh, understand, which I would like you to read or watch whenever you get time. I will read here the list of these masterpieces or his famous movies and you can watch in your leisure. Here we have A Woman of Paris released in 1923. The Gold Rush released in 1925, The Circus 1928, City Lights 1931, Modern Times 1936, The Great Dictator 1940. The film is based on Hitler or he made the parody of Hitler in this uh, film, The Great Dictator in 1940. Then we have Limelight 1952, A King in New York 1957 and there are so many other movies. Friends, he was not only an actor, but a prolific writer, a producer, a director, editor, and excellent human being. Friends, here we have the list of his books. Actually, he composed four books, which are significant, though these books are not very famous in comparison with his movies or his films, because we know Charlie Chaplin as the comedian. And hence, uh, we can say that his books are not so famous as compared to his comedies but these books are very significant so let's understand this book here we have his first book the trip abroad second a comedian sees the world third my autobiography which is uh, famous in comparison with these other books and uh, from this book the chapter the kid or the story the kid is taken and the last book here we have my life in pictures friends these four books are significant or important you can read whenever you get time and i will Post the links down below in the description of his movie called The Kid and his biography uh, which is given on the uh, website called charliechaplin.com. So you can visit this website through the link and read the very biography of Charlie Chaplin. Friends, I will recommend you please watch the movie called The Kid. It is a very fantastic movie. In this movie, we find that Chaplin has made a very fantastic acting and he also have a child uh, of four to five years old in which we find a very excellent 
acting or combination of this charlie chaplin and that child this story is not only a comedy but also it is uh, a serious type of movie a serious type of picture in which we find that the emotions of a father towards son or emotions of child towards father actually charlie chaplin is not the real father of that particular uh, child but he becomes the parent the father of that child so friends this has all given in the film charlie chaplin there is a great comedy there are great scenes described in this movie and how these scenes are described we are going to discuss it in the the kid now friends let's move to the chapter or story of the kid how this story came into the mind of charlie chaplin the kid so friends here when charlie chaplin visits a theater there he saw jack coogan is a actor and he was acting on the stage after the end of that particular scene or that particular act his son jackie coogan comes on the stage and he bows before the audience and there he makes a few steps and the full theater laughs a lot and there he thinks that how this child is beautifully acting on the stage and when he returns to his studio charlie chaplin did not think about this child uh, for a week and a news come to charlie chaplin and in that news he understands that the boy signed by the other theater company called obacal and this obacal signs the, that boy and here the very idea comes into the mind of charlie chaplin he thinks that why he did not think about that boy acting on the stage and why he did not have that thought that idea in his own mind about the acting of that particular boy and then he becomes nervous and he thinks that uh, there should be a very good kind of film here we have his words uh, how he thinks about this particular boy because he gives us the great actor in the form of that particular boy called jackie coogan and this jackie coogan later becomes a very great actor in hollywood and later charlie chaplin works with him so friends here we have his own words when charlie chaplin watches this particular boy on the stage for a moment of time then he understand his personality and here we have his own words but jackie coogan was charming and the audience thoroughly enjoyed it whatever he did the little fellow had an engaging personality so it was the sight the view of an actor towards the other actor the view of charlie chaplin towards the boy and the coming or the developing actor in the form of jackie coogan and how this idea came into his mind then he later explains uh, when he was leisurely sat at his studio he struck with the news that jackie coogan was uh, signed by obacal and then he becomes nervous and he thinks that there might have become a very great movie with that particular boy and here again we have his own words can you imagine the tramp a window mender and the little kid going around the streets breaking windows and the tramp coming by and mending them the charm of the kid and the tramp living together having all sorts of adventures so friends this was the story of the kid if you watch this movie you will understand this quotation very clearly so again i recommend you to watch this movie the kid friends this idea struck into the mind of charlie chaplin and then one day again he understands that jackie coogan was not signed by obacal but his father jack coogan and he immediately calls his father jack coogan to his studio and he tells the idea and without any hesitation the father of that boy jack coogan gives permission to charlie chaplin and he can work with that particular boy and then they made a very star film the very debut in the field of comedy called the kid and this type of story they involves in that the kid if you again watch this movie you will understand everything so friends this was the idea of the film the kid and which came in the mind of charlie chaplin so this is given in this story and this story is taken from his autobiography called 
my autobiography so you can read other chapters also in this my autobiography now friends if you look at it this chapter you find that how these great stars are made how these great people the great leaders of the world are made in particular fields and if you go through his films you will find that he was engaged with the social activities and he was engaged with the uh, reformation and he was trying to pick up those uh, matters those issues in his films which are you know, particular in the society so there are so many films we can cite the examples and this kid also is an example again we have his words regarding how he made that particular boy act on the stage and how they made this film successful and how they made their acting very successful charlie chaplin and the boy called jackie cougar they say babies and dogs are the best actors in movie all children in some form or another have genius the trick is to bring out them with jackie cougar it was easy he could apply emotion to the action and action to the emotion and could repeat it time and time again without losing the effect spontaneity how this boy becomes significant for charlie chaplin he describes this boy or his personality very clearly and he find a spark in that boy and he lift that boy from the ashes and made him star and again he says that how this boy uh, has habituated with the very action and with the very acting in his films he describes further he describes an incident and he just said that incident to that boy and very willingly or very spontaneously the boy absorbs that particular acting that particular action and that particular incident so you will find this incident or event in the movie which is the peak point we can say in a manner because we find that here how charlie chaplin describes that boy he can turn action into emotion and emotion into action and he is the perfect uh, boy of acting perfect boy for acting in this film so here we uh, should read this incident or event in the film kid which is given in this chapter there is a scene in the kid where the boy is about to throw a stone at a window a policeman steals up behind him and as he brings his hand back to throw it it touches the policeman's coat he looks up at the policeman then playfully tosses the stone up and catches it then innocently throws it away and ambles off suddenly bursting into spring so friends this is the scene or incident described in the movie so if you look at this scene carefully you will understand how this jackie coogan or this particular boy uh came up with the emotions particularly in that particular situation when a policeman is behind him and when he wanted to throw a stone on the uh, window pane his hand touches to the coat of that particular policeman and then he turns his emotions immediately you will enjoy this scene when you watch the movie so friends again he says that so this is the best kind of a scene in the movie here he describes in his own words the scene was one of the jackie's best and was one of the high spots in the picture and friends this is all about how this boy acted in the movie called the kid and the memory how is alive still in his mind here he describes everything so friends this is the idea of the kid uh, the very chapter and in this uh, particular chapter just he is talking about how the idea of the kid is struck in his mind or came in his mind and then how he uh, elaborated this idea into the uh, picture or into the movie a very successful movie so friends this is all about the story or chapter called the kid in his my autobiography if you have any query if you have any problem you can ask me through the comment i will answer your comment so please like this video share this video among your friends and subscribe to literature simply and press the bell notification icon for updates